Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the React Native. Today we are going to learn about the phone number verification with the React Native and the Twilio. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So here, this is the screen. So first I will add my phone number. So I'm going to add my number over here. Okay, send OTP. OTP sent successfully. So uh, I get the OTP, but here you can see sensitive notifications are hidden while you are sharing your screen. So first I disconnect. Okay, so in my application, I will disconnect first. So disconnect. Okay, then I will get the OTP, what exactly the OTP is. Okay, so I received the OTP. So uh, let me go to that screen. Okay, and let's connect that screen. Let me write down the OTP that is coming over here. That is 470022. Okay, and this, this is the OTP part, right? So let me start again sharing my screen. So this is the OTP last one screen. So let me add the OTP over here. So what is our OTP? What to fill from the messages? I think I'm sharing the screen. That's because I have checked. It is auto filling that messages also. Okay, let me cancel this one. And let's add our OTP. That is 470022. If I go to that one and verify that OTP, phone number verified successfully. So how, uh, let's see how we are going to do in the React Native code. Okay. So first, Node.js backend, how to create the ePay section. Okay. So those who don't know how to create that one, so make sure you're, if, you, if you're working with the backend, so the backend come to know how to create that API. Okay. So this is the API part uh, where it is. So let me go to this one, this row. Okay, so here we have the express body parts at Twilio, then account SSD token and Twilio client. So here we have a send OTP API, then uh, OTP generate. So this is the send OTP on that request. If something goes wrong, it go with the error message. Okay, then on which port the server is listening, right? Moving to the next part that we have the React Native. So here we have the React view state React view. So here we have a style sheet. Right, so let's move to the code level. Phone number, we have a default use state. Okay, so here I'm calling the API, that is this one, send OTP. So, okay, so whatever I get from here, if the data is success, right, so stimulate that at OTP, I have set the verification code and send OTP send successfully. Okay, else the data dot message error, right, and the cache part. Okay, then we have verify OTP screen by default verification. If you're entering the by default, then it set the message please send the OTP first. Okay, then we have a verification code, set message that phone number verified successfully. If it is not, then it will invalid OTP or please try again later. Okay, so this is the UI part for the interior mobile number to receive OTP. And this is text input, phone number. So here we are setting the phone number in the state. Then the send OTP will call the API. So here you can see when you click on the API, so this is send OTP function will trigger, which calls the API and send the respective states to that one. So verification code and the message. Okay. Then we have the verification code part. So we are checking the verification code, enter the verification code. So value would be verification code. Then set verification code. We are matching that one. If it is matches, then it will show the message that the phone number has been verified successfully. Okay, so this is how we are able to do that part. So any doubt, any query in that, do let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to like, share and comment on my video. Have a nice day.